Dan from Deggy Entertainment. Good to see everybody. Uh, a long day in Louisville and a long show to get backstage here. We're taking you backstage tonight with Travis from We The Kings, one of my buddies. Best friends Best for life. Friends. I texted you the other night when I was on the Peloton when uh, that girl was playing, I guess, Juliet. I felt kind of bad telling Funny, you. Funny, this is, we're going to go into a segue real quick. I actually uh, direct messaged her. Um, the girl, the, the girl, uh, because I wanted to say she, she's got like a really popular huge Peloton, fan base, huge fan base, and she always plays check yes and and I think one other, and I wanted to thank her for it. Okay, but I brought up, I, I screenshotted your message to me. Did you give me credit and tell her that? Of course not. Of and course give not. her my username on Peloton, so maybe I could have gotten something nope. out of it. Nope, none of that. Appreciate that. None of that. I don't even have a Peloton. Why, why is check yes, Juliet? It's now twenty five years old. That song. <laughs> I, I, I hate to tell you that. I just turned 65. Um, <laughs> that song is 25 years old. How has it held the test of time, that song? <laughs> it is, genuinely, it's 15 years old. You know, I think music is cyclical. Um, it, was a, it was a big song in its own time. And we have gotten into a new cycle of, let's say, like punk rock, pop rock, bands. And it's kind of recirculating yeah. again, which is amazing like it's it helps us be able to do what we do it gives us like another 10 years yeah. you know and it's cool we, we just keep releasing more and more music but we'll always have that you know right. we'll always have check yes and it means so much to our fans and it you know and because of that it means so much to us but we're doing it ironically without the kevin lyman's and without the war tours the things that really brought this resurgence around right it really yeah. built this genre now we get a festival in Vegas, like when mm -hmm. we were young and so forth. You know, what is it that continues this now after that festival? Is there another Warp Tour? Is there a... You know, I, I think Warp Tour laid the foundation and the groundwork for the ability for a resurgence. You know, the, we the Kings and, and other artists, you know, kind of within our genre and, and, you know, realm of starting would not be who we were without Warp Tour. And I think that's part of the nostalgia is like, do you guys remember Warp Tour? Like Warp Tour had so many bands and all this stuff. And then, you know, when we were young comes around, it's like, hey, this is basically a one day Warp Tour with every huge band that's ever played. Uh, where I remember when we got booked for when we were young and I was like, this is, this can't be real. There's no way this is a real offer. Everybody thought the poster was fake. And, and it, you're like, okay, this my favorite, what, that's my favorite band. That's my favorite band, that's my favorite. And as one of the artists, I was like, I would love to go sit on side stage for any yeah. of these bands. And, and then like, after like looking into it, I was like, holy cow, this is real. It's actually a real show. So I, I think Warped Tour played a big part into the festival for our style of yep. bands. Speaking of touring, not as easy to tour anymore. I think it's, I thought it was 11 kids. We were talking about it. It's 13 kids yep. combined offspring of the band. It's not offspring of the band, but your offspring. <laughs> we should be the new offspring. You, 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 are, you have offsprung <laughs> yeah. uh, 13 kids. Yeah. Offspring's parents. Is it, is, it, is it difficult to tour? Uh, it's it's different. Days? You know, we, I was just uh, telling somebody else, you know, backstage, the, the biggest difference is while we are out, you know, we, we used to kind of like get lost in the touring and things. Now, while we're gone from home, we want it to mean something. You know, we want the shows to be special. We want to give it our all as, you know, as cheesy as that sounds. We, we really want to make a, make a show be so memorable every single moment that we're there because we're there away from our families. Yeah. And if we are going to be there, let's go do a meet and greet for the very last person, you mm -hmm. know, let's. I think um, you just did a meet and greet for 470 people. That was massive. That was ridiculous. That was massive. But, but that's what I mean. Like, you know, we, I could have gone back to the hotel. I could have, mm -hmm. you know, sat back and waited till the crowd. To, you told me no interview until you get out there and there were 500 people waiting. For and, you. and so I think, I think that stems from who we are as, as, as people and who we've grown into as parents, because, um, I want, in a way, I want that motivation and that work ethic to transcend some my kids. And I know the rest of the band will say the same thing. So, Well, thank you for playing with us again Thanks, here tonight. I know all the colleges that saw you here. And uh, I know my team at Deggy always appreciates every time we get to work with you. You're unbelievable. you become a friend. And I really appreciate it. You're a good family man. You're a good character man. Thanks, brother. Um, and I'm a huge fan of yours, as you know. So, uh, Travis from We The Kings, we've been taking you backstage. 
Thanks for having us tonight, and uh, we'll see you out on the road.